Hi folks, I thought I'd uh, try doing a quick coin cleaning video. It's a technique that I've used in the past on uh, silver that's come out of the ground, uh, pretty black and tarnished. Uh, I used it on a, a Merc Dime in the past and came out real nice. So anyway, I was out in uh, New Jersey earlier this week and did a little detecting. And of, uh, among the finds was uh, this old uh, war nickel. And it's the crustiest, uh, nastiest... Uh, war nickel that I've ever seen come out of the ground. I haven't dug that many, but uh, but most of them, they shine up pretty nice, you know, just under running water. This one uh, uh, is in pretty rough shape. Uh, there's quite a bit of black tarnish around the edges. You might be able to see that a little bit. Uh, there's some shininess that's shining through. You know, on the back, you can see uh, the big P, maybe, for uh, uh, Philadelphia. That's kind of indicative of the... Uh, uh, silver war nickels, but uh, kind of has this yellowish cast, and uh, it really looks nasty overall. So I'm hoping this technique will uh, uh, kind of improve the look of this thing a little bit. Really simple. All it is is aluminum, baking soda, and hot water mixed together. Okay, so I've heated some water to boiling here, and uh, to that I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda. You do have to be careful here, because it will fro froth up quite a bit. If you add it too quickly, it'll get a little crazy pretty quick. But that's all there is to it. Add in uh, maybe about two tablespoons here. And then, once we're done with that, pour the hot water onto the coin with the mixture of baking soda. And hopefully we'll start to see some reaction. We may add a little bit more baking soda to the mix. And ordinarily you'll see a little bit of bubbling. I'm seeing just a little bit around the edges. The tough part is making sure that some of the silver makes contact with the aluminum. And with this much tarnish on the coin, I'm not sure how much contact is really being made. Uh, I know with the uh, Merc Dime that I had used this technique on previously, there's pretty aggressive bubbling going on with that dime. And with the nickel, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm not sure just how much can really be seen. Around the edges there are a few bubbles forming. The lighting is horrible here, so it's probably not showing up very well in that video. I'll check it later. But I'm doubting I'm getting very good contact. Add a little bit more baking soda to the mix. See if that helps. I'm going to dink around with it a little bit with a toothpick, see if I can find a better connection. A couple bubbles popping up from the underside. Maybe I'll try flipping it over as well. So here it is the next day, and uh, I never did actually get any good cleaning results with uh, the baking soda, aluminum foil, hot water treatment that I was trying the other day. And, you know, it kind of slowly dawned on me. You know, I'd used that method before, like I said, and uh, had pretty good results with it, but it was with a silver dime, you know, higher... Uh, silver content than a war nickel. War nickel is only what? About 35% silver. And I think that was the issue. That's why I wasn't getting that bubbling reaction that I was expecting to see like I saw with the dimes. So uh, anyway, uh, I gave up on that method. And uh, But yeah, as you can see, 
the nickel looks pretty darn good right about now. I tried a couple other methods. I went ahead and tried uh, just the, a toothbrush, a salt bristle toothbrush, and scrubbed at it for a little while. Uh, a little bit of baking soda on the toothbrush, uh, and, uh, and and sort of cleaning a little bit that way. A little bit more aggressive than I've ever uh, really cleaned a silver uh, coin before. I usually don't do anything that abrasive. And I wasn't getting any good results that way either. Um, ultimately, how I got it to look like this is I remembered something that a guy online had talked about a little while ago uh, uh, that I had read that uh, mentioned using a pencil eraser. <laughs> so I said, what the heck? I can't really hurt it, so why not give it a try? It was looking so darn crusty, I figured it can't hurt. And sure enough, I uh, went at it with a pencil eraser for about... 20 minutes. I uh, used up a good amount of uh, just a standard number two pencil eraser. I uh, used just about all of it, but uh, well, it came out pretty darn nice. Uh, I was uh, pretty pleased, especially compared to the crustiness that it had before. I'm going to try to insert a few pictures here of the cleaning process, uh, you know, stages uh, uh, of the cleaning process where I stopped and took a couple pictures. You can see how it went from its uh, crusty old self to a pretty good, shiny uh, 1945p war nickel. It looks pretty good. I highly recommend the method. It looks pretty nice, uh, at least for the nickels, with the uh, lower silver content. It seems to work out pretty nice. But thanks for watching.